Yep, you've guessed it, I was scanned. Unfortunately, being in the UK, you have to wait a very long time for batteries to be delivered. So I am currently looking for other reliable Chinese manufacturers and suppliers, as well as other options for people that live in the UK. Right, time to find out how I got on with my first attempt after being scanned. And my thanks to those viewers that reached out with recommendations, I'll feed back on those in future. So in this video, I'm just going to cover off all the details about the batteries I received. So what were the quality of them? What were the measurements that I did on them? And also, if you hang around to the end of the video, I'll cover off how much they cost me and how long it took for them to arrive. Okay, so it's time to see what turned up and how it was packaged. So as you can see, the uh, box was standard fare. So you've got a bit of foam padding in there. The little envelope down there is where the bus bars and nuts were. So each of the cells were individually packaged, which I thought was quite good. Usually they just come inserted in some form of foam with some tape over the terminals, but these were all individually packaged and wrapped. So the bus bars come along. Remember, if you're going to top balance, uh, it's best to get additional bus bars because you won't normally have enough in there, only enough to really make up a standard battery connecting each of the cells in series. So in this case for four cells, connecting it up so that you've got a 12 volt uh, lithium ion phosphate battery. So uh, each cell as you can see was packaged individually. So this is one of those cells I've pulled out and then you can see the, the label they use. And I think that's actually another reference to the BLS store where these were purchased from. And as you can see, they're packed up in their uh, plastic covering there. And each of the uh, cells that I've seen has also got uh, covers as well for the terminals there, obviously to try and stop any damage there and keep them in good nick. And uh, this is just a top shot really of the cells came. They look very tidy, very neat. They looked new um, in terms of uh, what arrived. So grade A or whatever, or however these are being referenced. And obviously these are 280 amp hour cells and they were advertised as EVE cells. And uh, there's one of the QR codes, which I'll show you later on how I scan those just to confirm what I'd actually received. So in terms of the packaging, uh, no complaints there. Time to see what these QR codes tell us about each of these individual cells. Right, in the app now. So let's start off with cell number one. So let's tap away on that. And that's come back as an EVE cell, as you would hope, uh, an LF280K. And the production date on that is the 22nd of April, 2021. Okay, let's move on to cell number two. And that one's come back as also an EVE cell, which again is good. So the same uh, model code there. And that was uh, produced on the 10th of June, 2021. So let's move on to cell number three. Let's tap away. And that one there has come again as a EVE cell and uh, that's the same model code as well. And that was also produced on June or in June, the 9th of June, 2021. And let's get to the last cell, cell four has also come back as an EVE cell again, four for four on that. Same model code and the production date again is in June and that's the 10th of June, 2021. So according to all of the QR codes on all of these particular cells, um, they are EVE uh, cells or EVE power cells and uh, LF280K. Another little handy feature within this app is you can go back to the history. So I'll just click on the history now and it gives you a history of the cells you've just done. So that's actually quite useful because it's easier just to read in table format. So it looks like these cells match what they're supposed to be. Right, time for the important capacity results now. So I'm just gonna share those. And this was covered in the previous video. So this is my trusty uh, battery tester here. And I use this for testing my lithium ion phosphate cells. It's uh, one in progress at the moment, as you can probably hear. So it's testing this cell over here, this uh, 280 amp hour cell. Um, but this is what I primarily use just to test what comes over from China, just to make sure that I have got the capacity that was promised when I purchased. Starting with cell number one. So my capacity results were 283.3 amp hours, as you can see on screen. So cell number two, that came in at 280.2 amp hours. Cell number three came in at 280 amp hours on the nose. And cell number four came in at 280.3 amp hours. 
So all four cells either met the advertised capacity or slightly exceeded it. Internal resistance testing during a thunderstorm. Right, tester is on, so let's uh, get testing the cells. So starting off with obviously the first one, which is cell number one. Let's make sure those probes make a nice contact there. So that one's coming in about point, let's say point 0.2 milliohms. Let's move on to uh, cell number two. Again, get good contact in the cell. And that one there is coming in at 0.21 milliohms. So let's move on to cell number three. Again, try and get the probes with good contact on the cell. And that one's coming in at 0.21 milliohms. And finally, cell number four. Again, let's get the contact the best we can with the cell terminals. And that one's coming in at, we'll say, 0.21 milliohms. So in summary, this actually worked for me this time. I got what I paid for, and there were no real problems as such. Only the point that maybe if you're not happy about getting cells that are slightly older, as in these are new old cells, as in they were manufactured a couple of years ago, that doesn't really bother me because as long as I can still make up that battery at the amp hour ridge that I want to at that time, I'm quite happy with that. And for the cost of these, I think it was actually a good purchase all in all. Right, now for the all important question. How much did they cost and how long did it take for them to arrive? Well, I'll just put that up on screen for you now. Obviously, I've covered my personal details out of that. But as you can see, they cost £423.29. And I ordered them on August the 14th, 2023. And they actually arrived on the 15th. So these must have been in the country, even though it references on there, as you can see, Germany. So there must be some that are actually stored in the UK for that quick delivery. So that is just great for me because they're a reasonable price. They work for me being in the UK. So that for me is a thumbs up. So what am I planning to do with these cells next? Well, I was thinking about getting another four through and then building another 24 volt battery, but I've actually got a couple of other projects in progress at the moment on that front. So what I'm going to do is build a 12 volt uh, battery with this and then test that out. So because I've got 280 amp powers or thereabouts once the battery is built, that's going to give me somewhere in the region of about three and a half kilowatt hours at 12 volts. So I can actually use that with one of my smaller inverters, so maybe my MPP uh, 12 volt uh, solar inverter, for example, but it just gives me a lot more capacity available. So to do that and build that battery, I've actually got a new BMS coming over from China as I speak, and that's a JK one. So I've seen those used and referenced a lot in the general DIY community. So I'm going to try out my first one of those just to see how easy it is to build a 12 volt battery using that with these particular cells. So that's it. Success for me on this occasion. But the other thing I'd like to know is if anyone's used Fogstar, which is another supplier or distributor of batteries in the UK, I'd like to know how you got on and what you actually received because they're permanently or seemingly permanently out of stock at the moment of certain EVE cells. So if you could just let us know how you got on with that in the section below, that would be appreciated. If you have anything else that you want to say, so comments, questions or suggestions, please again pop them in the section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to DaVinci. Vinci.